So our, our visual artist for the night is Noor Maghrabi. Um, she's a lover of all things art. She does beautiful henna work and she does really cool microblading. Ask her for her information after if you're into that stuff, which I'm sure everyone is. This is a Dearborn. Um, <laughs> she's a mother of two and she's here to talk about her work. So please give her a, a loud like, like applause. I don't know. How does that saying go? Wow. I always try to say it and then I, I like never know how to say it. Warm welcome? A warm welcome? I don't know, it's like give them a loud like applause. It's something to do with applause. Around around round, round, round. 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 Okay, I'm always like, wait, what is it? Okay. Um hi, my name is Noor. Thank you for having me today. Um I really I feel honored and I appreciate this moment with you guys to talk about my art. Um, so I came from Jordan seven years ago, um, but I've been always doing art all my life because also my mom is an artist, so I had the material at home. That's how I discovered myself ever since I was maybe five, six years old. Um, I don't have much of my artwork that was overseas. I do have what I've made when I came to this country, and that rose was one of the first one, and the lady on that side was one of the first ones I did in 2012. Um, but I'm gonna talk about this one first because it's one of my recents and one of my favorites that I made for myself. Um, I did not put this one on my Etsy shop, so it's not for sale. I wanted this one to kind of represent me and um, just hang this in my house. Everything is actually hanged in my house, but it's also for sale. That's I just keep them in, you know, on the walls until someone buys something. <laughs> but this one is not going anywhere. Uh, it's not going anywhere. Um, <laughs> so I think yellow and orange represent me. Um, so I use that for a background, and I also like to use um, heavy medium gels, something to leave some texture on the painting, something to. Feel. I know you're not supposed to touch paintings, but I do touch my own. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to feel that one every once in a while. It has a high picture. It's like, I, I wouldn't say it's a 3D, but it's kind of. Um, I love plants and nature so much. I have so many plants in my house. That's how I decorate my house. So my I wanted my art and like the way I would decorate my house is my art and my plants. Um, I just have this closeness to plants and nature. Um, so this one just, it was, it was quickly done and it's so simple. I know it's just like white, uh, it's just yellow and green, but um, each color I use means something to me because yellow and orange are my colors and then the green for the plants. So this is, um, it's one of my favorite right now. I'm trying to I'm trying to look at it and mm -hmm. she said touch and I want to touch it. But I'll wait. You can touch it. It's fine because this is mine. I'm oh, I love textured paintings. Okay. Um, Which one do you want to talk about next? Um, I can talk about this one. I love calligraphy and I I'm, I didn't um, take classes so this is just um, doing random calligraphy. It does say God is the light of the skies and earth. Allah nur samawati wal ard. It's a verse from the Quran. Um, I use the galaxy as a representation for that because um, we, we usually think of earth or like where we live in. We, some people don't think of the bigger picture of where we are in the universe and where our place is in the universe. So it's, it's, life is a lot bigger than earth and what we have here on you know this our planet. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I can see more. I can't. I hope I one day that I, I don't know, but I really love um, the galaxy and wanted to use that as a background for that one. Um, this one also, um, just a plant representation for my love for nature, also the rose, the lady in a peaceful moment because also I do feel as, like I am a peaceful person and I represent peacefulness in my artwork. Uh, the last one I'm going to talk about is the ballerina. Um, I was inspired by my friend, she does photography, so one day she had a photo shoot with a ballerina dancer and um, she had paint all over her body and I was obsessed with that look. I didn't put the paint, paint on her body in that picture, but I did uh, use that as a reference. 
Um, this one took me about two to three years to finish because at some point of my life I stopped painting. Um, I had a child and then another child and I moved into another house and I didn't have room to put my stuff and my artwork and I had to keep it away from the kids too. So um, I did this on so many layers. The background was different until eventually it came into one piece after so many years. So this is the most expensive art piece because I spent so many hours and hours on that one too. Um, my favorite part of this painting is the ballerina shoes. I feel like I did a really great job on the shoes. Um, and that's it. Do you have any questions? How did you start your career and, I mean, your hobby or your passion in painting and what encouraged you to pursue it? I watched my mom paint. Yeah, when we were kids, she, she had paint in the house. She used oil paint and I watched her paint and she would give me whatever paper or canvas that she had and she would let me paint. But I used to draw on walls a lot and I used to draw under the rug. Like I would lift up the rug that we have in the living room and use some crayons and draw under. So every time she want to wash the floors, we do put water on the floors overseas. She would find some artwork. Um, so she, she gave me that ability to express myself. So that is one reason that how I started just with artwork and how I found what I'm good at. But she didn't, like she didn't train me, but she gave me what she had to use. And I worked on myself. She had some art books in the house. She had like a bag that she hides her stuff in it. And that was my favorite thing in the house, probably because of the art supplies that she had in it. So every time she opened it for me, I would feel very happy to use some of the art books to learn. So I really taught myself a lot of things that she that was in the books. And then I didn't, I always wanted to go to school for art. And I wanted to be an architect, to, to do something that's related to what I'm able to do, like my skill, my steady hands, or whatever I'm able to do. But um, when I came here, for some reason, I thought that I can be a pharmacist. So I signed up <laughs> in college for to be a pharmacist. And for three years, I was just wasting my time. Well, I have some knowledge. I wouldn't say wasting my time. I don't regret, regret my choices, but I don't know why I thought I can be a, a pharmacist. But I finally gave up on that and switched my major to art. And I, I didn't continue yet, but I'm going to one day because I just have a liberal art degree right now. Um, the last classes I took at Henry Ford were art classes, and I was so happy that I finally made this decision to take some art classes because it was only two, but those only two classes helped me so much. Like, for years, my level was similar, and in one semester, my level has improved so much mm -hmm. in one semester. So this is another reason for me to continue to pursue my career, career as an artist. And doing, yeah, I didn't talk about Henna. I do have body art, and by the way, this is my client, uh, Rida, she's one of my clients, and she comes back for hen all the time, and she came in today for some artwork on her hand, um, and I told her about the event, and she made it too. So this is only one day stain, it takes about two days for the color to show, but this is another canvas that I found to use and to put my art on, so this is also my job to decorate women's bodies mm -hmm. with henna, and I also do the eyebrows also something that is artistic and related to my, um, me, related to me. So I'm kind of glad that I've made ch new choices in my life to continue using um, what I love and to, yeah. <laughs> yes. What mediums do you use? I use acrylic. I mix it with heavy medium gel for texture. Okay. I also use oil, so I have two oil paintings in the house that are not finished. Mm -hmm. But I, I've recently liked the oil because of how it blends well to, like this one gave me a hard time working with acrylic, drawing skin. I found oil better to draw skin for mm -hmm. drawing people. Mm -hmm. And I used oil when I was overseas because that's what my mom used. But when I came here, I was introduced to acrylic. It's something that I didn't use before and I liked it because it dries quickly. Yeah, but I do like oil, so I think I'm going to switch back to oil soon. Yeah. Yeah. Two questions. First, can you, well, a request. Can you please share um, 
your information as far as how can people get in touch with you if they do want henna or microblading, mm -hmm. um, including the number and the address, um, because I think more people should have some of your magic sprinkled on them. Thank you. Uh, number two, can you talk a little bit about what you would say to other young Arab American or Muslim girls who have a gift and a passion for this, but their parents are sort of, um, sort of trying to peg them into a traditional career path that they don't really feel inside of their spirit? Okay, so I'm going to start with that one. Um, what I would tell them is to really do what they really love, to try if they're going to have a hard time with their parents, they have to find a way to do it. Maybe you shouldn't tell them about every step you're taking, just do it and one day they'll know that you did what you wanted to do and what you, you love to do. So if you think that this is something people tell you, oh, you're not going to make money, remember that making money could happen at one point of your life, but losing yourself because you decided to go with something that will bring you money, but also just forget about who you are. So this is not being true to yourself. Um, just like I did, I thought I'm gonna make a lot of money being a pharmacist. And okay, I was convincing myself that I love science and I do love science, but I wasn't good at it. And I started questioning myself because I had bad grades in chemistry. Um, so I went, so one advice I can say also to speak to a counselor too. So going to speak to a counselor at Henry Ford helped me a lot and he told me, I'm glad you're questioning yourself because what are you doing? Like look, at, he's seen my artwork too and he's like, look at you and you think you're gonna be a pharmacist. It's not that he, he's like, it's not that you can't, but it's, you're here for a reason and this is not what you want. And this is, you know, ideas from other people telling me, pharmacist, oh, when you're, when you're gonna be rich. And believing that right now, I don't really care because I am mm -hmm. happy doing what I want to do. Yes. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my information, um, you can find me on Instagram. I have two accounts. For my personal account that I share my art on, it's my name, Noor, N-O-O-R.